Anti-Predator Behavioral Adaptations Predators can have big impact on prey populations. However, prey are not completely defenseless. They develop a variety of mechanisms to avoid getting eaten by predators. Some of these adaptations can be morphological. For example, animals may use a defense strategy. They can have spines or poison to the tear or fight off predators, as seen in this porcupine. Other animals may use an avoidance strategy. They may hide from predators by resembling or mimicking their surroundings, like is the case of this grasshopper. Others may use speed or agility to escape predation, as seen by this warhog. The parent survived, but the young wasn't fast enough and it was caught by this lioness. Aside from these morphological adaptations, animals can change their behavior to avoid getting eaten by predators. Let's look at some of these behavioral adaptations in more detail. Animals may aggregate or spend time together as part of a group to avoid predation. Aggregating can have many advantages. There's a dilution effect, for example, as seen here in wildebeest. An individual animal may feel safer when it's surrounded by any other potential prey, especially if some of this prey includes easier targets such as juveniles or injured animals. There's also a predator confusion effect. When many animals are grouped together, it's harder for a predator to pick one potential prey to kill. In the case of the zebra, it has been suggested that their stripes can further confuse predators when they're seen as part of a group. Another advantage of aggregating is sentinel behavior. When many animals are grouped together, that means that there are many eyes that can look in many different directions and spot a predator so they're not caught off guard. Another way in which animals can avoid getting eaten is by using distraction displays, such as injury feigning. Some animals, like this grass snake, can pretend to be injured or dead, which may make the predator lose interest in it, given that many predators eat live prey. Many birds, like this killdeer, will pretend to be injured when there's a predator near their nest. A bird with a broken wing is attractive to a predator as it represents an easy prey. By pretending to have a broken wing, a bird will distract or lure the predator away from its defenseless babies, and then save itself by simply flying away. Pursuit deterrent signals are used to communicate to the predator they should stop wasting its time on prey. For example, many predators depend on catching their prey off guard or unprepared. By staring down at it, prey are telling the predator, we can see you, you're not going to catch us by surprise. An example of this can be seen in this picture, where there's a cheetah walking down the savanna in an ashiva, while many different animals are staring at it. This behavior could be considered a passive type of mobbing, but many species will mob or harass predators more actively to tell it not only that it has been spotted, but make him move away from their territories. Birds are commonly seen mobbing or harassing predators, as is the case of these aromark babblers mobbing a boom slang in South Africa. Another pursuit deterrent signal is balking. In this set of pictures, we can see that balking can be quite effective at keeping away a predator. By kicking their hind legs or other extremities, prey can in some cases escape predation. That was the case of this zebra, which hit the lion in the jaw and was able to escape. Some ungulates like gazelles can also be seen starting when chased by a predator. This behavior, also known as pronking, is when an animal springs into the air, lifting all four legs off of the ground simultaneously, sometimes with stiff legs. If a gazelle is escaping from a predator, Jumping into the air with legs straight doesn't seem like an efficient way to escape predation. Instead, running away as fast as you can should be preferred. But people have argued that starting may be a way for gazelles to signal to the predator that they are so agile and in such good shape that they can afford to jump instead of run away from them. In turn, predators may find it that it's not profitable to pursue an animal that is healthy and therefore stop the chase. 
In this video, we can see a Thompson's Gazelle starting in Anashiva. As it runs away from a threat, it certainly runs, but it also springs into the air, lifting all four legs. And these are some of the anti-predator behavioral adaptations that animals use to avoid becoming the next meal of a predator.